run you through a ratio analysis for ZX office furniture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on what I think is important in the financials. Um, there are some items, there's quite a lot of information that I think that isn't overly relevant in, from the point of view of a pure ratio analysis of this particular company. Now, following on from that, you know, how should you use this document and how important is ratio analysis for your MCS success? I would say it's of fair importance. You need to be able to quote uh, numbers, figures and percentages from the information that's shown within this pre-scene. So, for example, typically within the MCS exam, things such as um, an increase in turnover or a drop in the profit, uh, gross profit margin or a drop in net profit margin, these sorts of percentages need to be at the tip of your tongue. So how would you go about doing that other than obviously reviewing this video? I think what you need to do is you need to include a section in your own strategic analysis that relates to ratio analysis and I think you need to strip out of this document and this video some of the more important numbers, important percentages. Okay, so I'll refer to the exam script and uh, uh, what you would need to do within a script as we flow through this particular um, ratio analysis. Okay, so let's start really on a sort of a summary yeah, of, of, of this document. What does it do? Well, basically it has some fairly straightforward uh, 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 financial analysis of the figures on the financial statements that are provided within the pre-scene for ZX. We know that for ZX we're provided with basically a, a balance sheet, a profit and loss account, and indeed some management accounts up to the 31st of this, uh, uh, October 2017. The financial statements and the year end is December. So the latest accounts that we have included within the pre-seen information are up to the 31st of December 2016. And we also in fact have the previous year as well. So we've got two full sets of accounts, December 15 and December 16, and indeed we have a set of management accounts uh, to date up to the end of October, actually 2017. So in terms of what this document is supposed to do, is basically provide you with some numbers that you can use in your exam. And I've also included some commentary on those numbers, some very brief commentary. Okay. Now, note that the final sentence here says that this document and this video is really your starting point. Okay. You know, we've included um, a, a good financial analysis, but you need to do a little bit of your own work. You can't just take the information from this document and think that you're done. Look at the financial accounts. You know, look at how current assets are made up. You know, look at the bottom part of the balance sheet and see, you know, is there equity? Is there debt? How much is the equity? These little small pieces of information are the types of things that you're going to need in an SES task relating to this particular area. Thank you.